Okay, and here is all of our colors. It smells really nice. We have our bubble art. Mm. Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Megum Bubble Art DIY Gummy Candy Kit. On the package, it shows what the finished product should look like, and this is going to be a great flavored candy, and it has nice vibrant colors. On the back of the package, all the instructions are in Japanese, but you can tell what they're doing by the pictures, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's open this up and see what it's all about. Okay, so inside the package, we have these two different plastic pieces. And here we have this little template for our bubble art. And here we have five different packets and our little bubble dropper. So on the template, we can make an airplane, a flower, an apple, a carrot, and a bunny. Okay, so let's get started. We can now put in our green packet, which is our solution. And now we mix it up until it is all dissolved. It smells really nice. It smells like a nice grape flavor. Okay, now that that is all dissolved, it is now time to put our solution into our little bubble dot tray. Okay, now that we've got all of our water into our little drop tray. Next, we are now going to add in some more water into here and then put the water into our little dipping trays here to put in our colors. Okay, now it's time to make our different colors out of our combination of blue, yellow, and red. Okay, and here is all of our colors. Okay, so again, let's go over our different things that we can make. We can make an airplane, a flower, an apple, a carrot, and a bunny. I think the two pictures that I'm going to make, I'm going to be making an airplane because I am an aviation geek and an apple because I think this just looks really nice. Okay, so we can line up our templates with the little candy tray right here. Okay, here we go. Look how cool that is. So I have completed my airplane. And if we remove this from the template, we have our bubble art airplane. All right, everybody. So there's my completed apple. The last thing we need to do is to put on this purple powder and it will solidify it to become a gummy. Okay, so most of our powder has basically all have dissolved. And now we're ready to flip it onto our tray. Look at that. All right guys, here's my two finished gummies. Here I have this blue airplane and this red apple. 
So this was a lot of fun to make and it definitely did not turn out as well as I expected it to, but you can still kind of make out what it is by if you look at the picture. This one, you can definitely tell that this is an apple. This one, if you just showed me this picture, I would have kind of a hard time trying to figure out what it is, but it was super fun to make and I guess that's all what counts. It was very fun because you're making your own art and the best part is you get to eat it. When I was mixing the solution with the green packet, I realized later that it wasn't actually grape. It was a Ramune flavor, which is one of my most favorite flavors. And the little droplet parts, they're supposed to be grape flavored. And let's try it out. Let's just try it out. So it's a little bit sticky and it's not really much like a gummy. It's kind of hard to get out of the plate. Okay, here is the airplane. <laughs> um, it kind of fell apart, but that's okay. And let's try it. Mmm! You know what? That tastes really good. The texture, though, is kind of questionable. It's more of like a porridge, but I really like the taste of it. You can definitely feel the pearls on your mouth, and it has a super nice Ramune flavor from the gummies. The grape and the Ramune, they definitely complement each other. And here is the the apple that is falling apart in my hands. I guess I'll just... Yeah, <laughs> this doesn't really stay together that well, but here we have it. Let's try this, this is very messy. Mmm, mm -hmm. tastes exactly like the other one. It's very sweet, but the sad part is, is they only give us enough of the solution and the powder for two gummies, and then you're left with all of this liquid right here, but this Japanese grape, it tastes amazing. This was my review on the Megum DIY Bubble Art Gummy Candy Kit. It was very fun to make, but the outcome is it's kind of messy and it definitely tastes good, but the picture, it doesn't really turn out that well as it shows it on the package, but it was super fun to make and I guess that's what counts. I really enjoyed this product and I hope you guys can check this out and Thank you all for watching, hope you guys subscribe and like this video, and thank you all for watching, bye!